You know what we're here for. We need less hair. So this year marks the 20th anniversary of Armada. As you'll see as I'm celebrating the, the shelf I've assembled back here. It's actually the first time I've ever actually just had a shelf of just Armada figures. Hard to believe, I know. As far as my research can tell, we're a few months past what you would call the official 20th anniversary date. It's a bit hard to sort of pin down because um, the Dreamwave comic started in July. The cartoon started in August of 2002 and I think the toys came out in July as well, I think. It sounds sort of more right to say that they came out in June, but I'm, I'm thinking July is probably more it. I don't remember anyway seeing them before like the summer holiday of 2002, let's put it that way. If someone's actually got actual dates and like proof and, and actually remembers 2002 better because they were older, um, then please feel free to correct me because I'd like to know and I'd, I'd like to be able to mark the occasion better in future than I have done this year because it's honestly the first time I've ever actually given any thought to the exact point that you can say Armada started. It's like whenever there's G1 stuff, it's like every year we mark when like the G1 comic first came out because that's got a firm date on it. But Armada hasn't got anything like that, so it's a bit more nebulous. But anyway, we haven't got any official celebration of that anniversary. You know, Prime had 10th anniversary stuff, you know, we've had nothing for Armada all this time. But the closest thing I think we're going to get is what I'm about to show you that I've got in this box. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Legacy Voyager Armada Universe Starscream. The first in what I hope is a very long line of nice, lovely new Armada stuff that is it's just been... It's taken too long to turn up really, hasn't it? The art's not quite right because um, the sword in the box won't be red because they took the paint off it so that they could afford to make Inferno's ant eyes blue, apparently. Um, whatever, um, it doesn't look right either way because it isn't made of one of his wings, is it? But there you go. Um, well then, let's, let's just get him out, shall we? I love the new windowless boxes because I can just completely, like a barbarian, use my bare hands to tear into a box. And there we go. Oh, 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 exciting stuff, exciting stuff. So what we got in the box? Yeah, there's his sword, it's all gray. It's just one piece. Needs some paint or something on it really, doesn't it? But tiny little star saber with, you know, detail of the individual planes that make it up at least. Um, but that's, it. Uh, sorry, it's too small. It's too small. It's, it's nice that it's there that it's a, it's a single piece accurately sculpted and then painted blue like it glows in the cartoon thing, but it's tiny. The man himself though, that's, that's a nice size, you know? Uh, when the last update of this came out, you know, the Deluxe Fling 31, it was nice. More than anything else, it just felt like, oh, it's nice to be thrown a bone. But this is definitely hitting the point a lot more. Put those up there, mate. I'm not going to display you with them like that because that's just, that that's the mode for making him fit on a shelf if you want to put him at the back. That is how he should be looking. Enjoying the, um, the sort of gold in here, actually. I was expecting those to just be yellow. So that's nice, a little bit of metallics on the go. It's got yellow eyes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not averse, you know, to, Robots having something other than the red and blue dichotomy that you always get these days. Arms feel big. I'm enjoying the, the way that they're done and, you know, sidestepping the, the weird amount of joints that the original one had that never... It's like, what, what way is the right way to get his elbows to work? I still don't know after all these years. Go on then, let's give me a shard, which seems to have a really sort of tiny handle on it, to be honest. His wrists will do the sword pointy thing um, and make a flap come out at the same time. I suppose that's it's nice that it's not hollow, so that that will then hide the fist away, but I kind of feel like that bit just wasn't there. You just get a little bit better posing out of it. I don't know. He's got a waist down there, which obviously is going to get in the way with the massive 
dangling dangling dingus down here but um it's good it's okay i can't really ever say i've particularly wanted a wasteful out of this toy when so much of the waste is invisible but there you go the feet actually look like they'll let him stand up quite nicely and they do that and no i don't go i don't go that way for like walking poses but oh well there's the tilt that you've got to have now because it's the 21st century don't you know feels good feels solid feels sizable i like that you can do that with them and stick some blast effects in there but obviously the elephant in the room is there's no swindle you know and there's not even any points on him to stick swindle on if you already have one i don't know how to feel about that you know, it's like, on the one hand, to update Armada and remove all of the, you know, proprietary power links connections and replace it all with just, you know, like, 5 mil ports is all right, you know, because everything's 5 mil these days and, you know, all those Siege Micromasters, which are the, the I'd say, the latest equivalent to Minicons that we've had, all have, like, 5 mil posts on them, so you can still stick them all over the place on new toys. But then the new Hotshot I showed off the other day he's got an actual power links peg on the back of the car and it's like well now you've just made it annoying because it's different and this one hasn't got that on it and are you gonna be putting them on all the armada ones to come or are you not and it's like oh, just a little bit of consistency with the play pattern please that is what armada really was it was the minicon stuff and to update the toys and completely ignore that it feels like they haven't completely understood what made armada special back in the day and what still makes it special today but this is really good and it's got all the, the detail that i want really um maybe a couple of the the colors are a little bit off like where they should be gray or where they should be black but this is nice let's just hide that wing away so it looks like he's only got one it's good. I'm going to get to grips with the alt mode and all that because I've, I've got to say, I think the biggest thing that was off with the deluxe one was the jet mode. With like, why are the wings that shape? And like, why has he got an orange cockpit? He's never had an orange cockpit in anything apart from, okay, yeah, maybe there was like a comic where they called it orange. But anyway, that feels nice that that is blue on there and it's got all the sort of sculpted zigzags on it and everything and it's just it's hitting the spot so there we go i thought i'd better get it on camera because it's a bit of a special thing in it for me anyway you know you're you're hopefully number one armada enjoyer out there um i had to had to put some thoughts about this star screen on the camera in your eyes and ears the armada renaissance begins now yes we're getting there ah oh, could you could you imagine the face i made on that stream the other day where they, they it was just i didn't even show off hot shot yet it was just that bit of art and he's there at the side and i was flipping lost it i was banging on my desk and hooting and everything it was amazing mate amazing 2023 is going to be my year yeah clues in the name see you later